I'm Kareth Running Warehouse. I'm here today to talk about competition shoe fit. Athletes should know that your competition shoes should fit more snug than your training shoes. The shoes you're running every day, they need to be tighter, more snug. They're going to fit more curved on your foot and they're also going to offer a lot less shock absorption than your training shoes. You should also know that generally the competition shoes that you'll be wearing for track and field will fit into one of two categories. The first of which is glove-like. Glove-like meaning that there's absolutely no room in the shoe, no wiggle room, it's snug everywhere, there's no slippage. Um, it also means that you probably want a size at least half a size down from your everyday training shoe. The second um, category that your shoe is supposed to fit into is slipper-like. Slipper-like meaning there is a little bit of wiggle room for your toes. It's snug in the heel and the arch still, but um, there's a little bit of room for those longer events. Most sprinters prefer a tight glove-like fit, especially in the forefoot. Sprinters will oftentimes buy their shoes at least half a size too small to ensure this glove-like fit. It's very similar to how soccer players purchase their shoes with um, the very small to provide more feel with the ball. That's exactly how sprinters want their shoes to fit. And the so small size, in addition to the very aggressive spike plate, helps keep the sprinter on their toes the entire race, which is the optimal running foot strike for a sprinter. You'll notice that it's very tight everywhere here in the toe box. And when the sprinter stands up, there's even less room in the toe box for wiggle room. Um, this will definitely help keep the sprinter on their toes the entire time. It's important to note that most track and field specific shoes are in unisex or men's sizing. So women, to ensure the proper fit, you need to purchase a size and a half smaller than your normal training shoe size. So if you wear an eight and a half in women's, you need to purchase a seven in men's. Unless, of course, it specifically states that it's a women's specific shoe. If you have any further questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us at Running Warehouse. Thank you.